Good morning everyone. I took a day off from vlogging yesterday, so today is day 16. But here is door 15. See how tiny the numbers are, so difficult to see a little, I don't know, mangery scene with a palm tree. And this is 16 some kind of Middle Eastern looking building, again with the palm tree. Yeah, yesterday I knew I wasn't going out anywhere, so I thought I'd just spend the day catching up with admin things, I thought I'd just have a chill day. I really need to crack on with some things, and I'm thinking I ought to do my do it list the night before, because then when I wake up, I'm just all ready to go. So I woke up a bit late this morning, like, Quarter past eight. I know that doesn't sound late, but I normally get up at six um, to get everybody out the door for school and college and that sort of thing. So I was thinking about doing boot camp today, but I think what I'll do is I'll go for a run tomorrow, kind of change it up. So that would be a good routine to be in. Do boot camp on a Saturday, do my routine at home on a Monday or Tuesday, and then go for a run. I need to do a bit more running later on in the week. Right, I think I have a plan and as usual I've been doing it on my spreadsheet. So what I do is I put in all the different tasks here, I give it a priority, so number one is today and then I put them in the order I'm going to do them in and then I formatted this cell here to be fractions of 60, whole numbers and fraction, fa fractions of 60 and then I've got a from and to time and these calculate themselves so there's a formula there to take the time before and then add this time and divide it by 24 to get the actual time and then I can like see how it's going to pan out and how much I should spend on each thing over here you can see where I've got priority so number one is like today that goes into thing it's a little bit like a pivot table but if you look up here it's actually a data statistical function and usually the range name is here but because Excel has got these new kind of like table format things it's I don't know exactly what that is it's very similar to a range name anyway <laughs> and then the field that is being added up is time and the criteria is here so we're going to include all the priorities and it's like a what if table really so it's what if number one was in the criteria it would equal that 14 hours 45 minutes I know it says 75 but that's 0.75 of an hour that's how my brain works geeky and nerdy. I'm off to get my dad. We'll pick Darcy up on the way back. She's not quite ready. She the microphone from the wind. I've lost my fluffy thing again. <laughs> um, I left it in Giro the other day when we met Steve and Alexia. I just got to find my car now because I had to move it because somebody was having a skip picked up the other day. And I've got my hat and my gloves, although the sun has come out now, so I might not need them. Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was going to record a shot of me not getting the car started, but it started. I had a few goes at that, that was a bit touch and go. I'm wondering why.
I am so tired. <laughs> uh, it was really mild at Wesley. It was it was lovely. So I don't think it was that, and we weren't like doing loads of walking. And then I took my dad home, and Darcy and I had a few things to do in the village. I needed to take my library books back, and we ended up doing a bit of Christmas present shopping. But I'm supposed to be going out tonight. I'm going out with my friend Caroline, who sometimes plays the piano for me. Um, to a gig um, of musicians that she's been on a course with, they ran the course and I've been on a singer's course with the, the drummer and also the drummer played on my first album, Tristan, Tristan Mayo. So we want to go and support them, it's going to be a funk gig um, as opposed to straight ahead jazz, so it'll be all Herbie Hancock and that kind of thing, it'll be really good and it's at the Bull's Head. So I really want to go because I haven't been to the Bull's Head, the Bull's Head in Barnes since it's been refurbished and taken over by new management and stuff. And it'd be nice to see Caroline again as well, so... Yeah, <laughs> I'm so tired though. <laughs> I just need to man up. I probably just need to eat, and I need to cook the tea anyway. I'm going to cook spaghetti bolognese. I, I'm going to change back into my blue scarf I was wearing earlier and a nice necklace and stuff. I knew because we were going to Wisley, I'd need to put a warmer jumper on, so I put my Christmas jumper on. Um, and I need to take the laundry down <laughs> before I start cooking. Somebody said in the comments, is this normal? Um, it's not normal, but it's quite common in the UK to have um, an error like this. It's kind of an old fashioned thing. Um, but a lot of people have a washing line outside and then you know they have to rush and get the washing in if it rains and quite a lot of people have tumble dryers so my dad's got a tumble dryer um, but yeah it's quite common for people to hang their washing up in the UK as well either inside or outdoors I was going to try and get this video uploaded this is Mondays um, before I went but I've run out of time, it took so long to render, and I am a bit late, so I need to dash.
this vlog but I thought I was going to be able to catch up so I am going to upload it tonight and the gig was really good it was really fun and it was nice spending time with Caroline and there's quite a few other people there that I knew as well and I will put clips of it in this vlog yes I was gonna say in the vlog tomorrow thinking about the vlog I'm uploading I'm just rambling now. I'm going to make a cup of tea and go to bed. <laughs> See you tomorrow.